animals participating in the Jungle Cup Finals were preparing for the tournament with their strongest teams. The Panda team, which participated in the tournament for the first time this year, was training regularly to win this tournament. Panda team captain Moro Dunna was stunned when he was examining his opponents in his room after training. I can't understand how they become champions without working and training. The Jackals team, which was the champion of the previous tournament, was planning the traps they would set for their opponents, accompanied by their captain, Vigo. We will steal the monkey's bananas, fill the kangaroo's pockets with stones, give the squirrel spoiled hazelnuts. In this way, we will be champions again! <laughs> Panda's ball picker, little Panda Resi, who's fond of football, caught the balls that went out with an unexpected quickness from a panda and brought them back immediately by performing all kinds of shows. Captain, do you think that one day I will be a Team A player too? The game is played very hard, so it's a man's game. You're a little girl, Ressi. You can't play on the panda team. But, Captain... Days chase days. Finally, jackals and pandas made it to the finals. But before the final match, the jackals were at work again for trickery. A player from their team secretly threw itching powder in the nose of Panda P. When Panda P, whose nose was red from itching on the match day, said that he would not be able to play in the match, Morodana was alarmed. Finally, he thought, made his decision, and went to Resi. Get ready! You will play too! But… but you said… Are you sure you want me to play in the match? I have no choice, kid. We can't play with a missing player in this match. But you will listen to my words. You will stand on defense. When the ball comes, you will hit forward without ever holding it in your foot. Understood? When Ressi realized that the captain did not trust her, she got very upset and started to cry under a tree. <laughs> As she was crying, she heard a voice through the bushes. Vigo, the captain of the jackals, was talking to the star player Kompala with a bottle in his hand. Jackal Grandpa made the potion in the bottle. It will give you ten cheetah powers, and you will run faster than anyone else when you drink it. As soon as Resi heard this, she immediately went to Morodana and excitedly told what she had heard. Such a thing is not possible. Stop making things up and go put on your jersey. Ressi sadly went to the dressing room. It was game time. The referee wolf blew his whistle. And the match started. Little Panda Ressi was standing on the defense, as her captain Morodana said and was hitting the incoming ball immediately forward. The Jackal team was giving every ball to Kampala. Kampala was going so fast that the pandas couldn't even get close to him. Then Kampala, passing the defense with a stylish feint, sent the ball into the nets from the right of the goalkeeper with a hard and smooth shot. While the Jackals were enjoying the goal, the Panda team was very upset. Before they could get over the shock of the first goal, Kampala scored another goal and the first half ended 2-0. Everyone was very upset in the Panda's locker room during the break. If we can stop Kampala, we may have a chance. But he runs so fast that we can't even catch up. Instead of saying that girls can't play this game, if you give me a chance in the second half, maybe we can win the game, Captain. All right. Go to the field and play your way, Ressi. When the second half started, Ressi was blowing like a storm on the field. Whenever Kampala picked up the ball, Ressi would end up right next to him. As soon as she got the ball, 
she immediately went on the attack. Before the Jackal team could understand what was happening, Tiny Panda Ressi, who came into the middle from the right, almost flew in the air, hit it with her head, and scored her first goal. Pandas were hopeful with this goal. 10 minutes later, Ressi passed between the two Jackals and faced the goalkeeper. With a hard hit, she sent the ball between the goalkeeper's legs into the net once again. And everyone began to admire this little panda. Just when the match was going to end in a draw, the star of the Jackal team, Kampala, was very angry because he could not stop Ressi. And he knocked Ressi down to the ground in the penalty area. Penalty! The referee Wolf showed Kampala a red card and sent him off the field. The audience started cheering for Ressi to take the penalty. However, little Ressi went to the captain Morodena, the most experienced player of the team. Taking a penalty is a matter of experience. Everyone should know what they can do better and act accordingly. You take the penalty, captain. After Morodena nodded to Ressi, he picked up the ball and scored. Pandas won the match 3-2 with this goal and became the champions. They celebrated the joy of victory by taking Ressi on their shoulders. Then, Morodana went to the bushes without telling anyone. While searching around, he saw the potion bottle Ressi was talking about on the ground. What? Ressi was right! He took the bottle and came to the field next to Ressi. He gathered the whole team around himself to give a speech. First of all, I'm sorry, Ressi, for thinking that only men can play football, and I didn't see your skills. Anyone can play this game, whether it's a boy or a girl. You are now our star! Ressi was very happy with the captain's words. My second apology is for not listening to you. I found this bottle in the bushes where you said. It's true what you said. The jackals cheated. As the team players looked around in surprise after hearing what was going on, Moradana took out the empty potion bottle and gave it to the referee wolf. The referee wolf rushed over to the jackals and kicked them out of the Jungle Cup football tournament. Morodana and Ressi were now close teammates who trusted each other. They raised the Jungle Cup together and celebrated the championship together to the fullest because they understood how important it is to be successful by working hard and laboring. Bye-bye.